Hi, everybody. So, um, I went to the salon yesterday. Um, took me like four hours for supposedly wash and go. I went to Miss Jessie's. It took a long time. Uh, I don't know if I'm happy with the results or not. It's just, I felt like I could have done a better job. Anyway, I am 34 weeks and three days today. And I went to, um, well, I don't know. Yeah, let me tell you the new symptoms that I'm having first. Um, this is something that I've had probably the entire pregnancy. Like, I've just been hot all the time. And it's not even, I mean, today it was good weather. It was probably 70 degrees outside. But even when it's colder, I get hot so easily. And, yeah, I got that. And I've had swelling of my hands and feet. Um, but mainly my feet, and not even my feet, mainly my foot. It's like my right, right foot. It's been swelling my ankles. I got like, it just looks like an elephant foot. <laughs> what it reminds me of. But, um, it's hard to keep it elevated because at school and at work, I can't. Obviously, I get home like 8 o'clock or, you know, so late. And by the time I get in bed, it's like, it's really... It's really late, so I don't know. I'm just dealing with that, and I had to go get some comfortable shoes today. It's by Skechers. I don't know exactly what kind, but they're so much better for your feet. Like, I've been torturing my feet, I guess. Um, and on Friday, which was yesterday, I had, like, ankle socks on, and by the time I took them off my feet, they got so swollen, and there was a line from the socks, so... I don't know, I guess I shouldn't wear ankle socks when I know my feet are going to swell. It's like just better to wear regular socks that come over your ankles because it's, it's a lot better. Um, that way the socks aren't like hugging onto your feet. At least, you know, like cutting off circulation or something is probably not good. And um, it's been really uncomfortable sleeping. <laughs> For one, I get, I don't know if I told you guys this last time, but I get numb when I sleep on one side too long so I have to constantly turn over and when I turn I feel like there's a lot of pressure in my um, uh, pelvic region like it's just I don't know so um, and I've been getting up I told you guys this already so many times to go to the bathroom at night probably on average five times down I can't help it I, I drink water I've been really I don't know, I've never heard this as a symptom of pregnancy, but I've been really, really thirsty, and I, even before the pregnancy, I drank a lot of water, but I, like, this is just, I, this morning alone, just back to back, I drank, like, seven cups of water, and it's just, like, I can't quench my thirst, and I don't have, like, uh, gestational diabetes or anything, but it's just, <laughs> add that to the symptoms of pregnancy. <laughs> I've heard other people on uh, the baby center community complain about it as well so I don't know um, and yeah that's I think pretty much it I'm, I'm tired again of course um, I thought it went away but I'm just tired and it's getting hard for me to go to work every day because it's like I have you know a pretty hectic commute and I gotta walk sorry my eyes are burning um, I gotta walk quite a bit, so, um, anyway, so I went to Bye Bye Baby today for the grab bag, whatever, swag bag, goodie bag, whatever you call it, um, and it came in this, I'm so sorry, my eyes are burning, this bag, pretty cute, um, I think when I went to them, they didn't, in Target, they didn't really, like, they didn't look up your name or anything, so it's like, I guess supposedly maybe you could go there and not even have a registry. Or you could go back there again, which is what I planned to do because I didn't get something that I saw someone else got. They got like a teether, and I want that teether. So, anyway, uh, I didn't get any like, bottles in this one or anything. Ow, my eyes. <laughs> the first thing that stuck out was the Enfimo formula. Now, I just, I mean, it's always good to get these. I don't know. I want to breastfeed, but these are, you know, you never know what's going to happen. And that's my dog. I might have to um, 
supplement with this, so that's that's always good. Also, I have to tell you guys, in the midst of all this, that if you go on the Enfamil and the, I think, Similac too, and sign up, they will send you um, free formulas. Like the Enfamil, I got like two two of these, and they're a tad bit bigger, and also some portable packets of the Enfamil formula. So if you guys are looking to have that, that's something that you can sign up for, and it's pretty cool. I just I found out about it recently, so that's. I'm just going to empty all these out so it's easier. Um, and then, I mean, I also got a $5 coupon off if you're spending, I think it was $20 or more or so. Um, but you have to, um, the expiration date was already, it was December 2013 and it expired. But they'll put in a code or whatever and make sure it, it works for you. So just tell them that if you guys got it, then... You know, you just got it recently, and it was expired before. And I got this this cool thing, which I I'm gonna need. Baby on board. Which I doubt anyone will pay attention to because the drivers out there are horrible. Some of them, at least. And um, I got I don't know, this is like two nursing pads um, from Chico. Ooh. Shutterfly. I think they give these out in like every single grab bag you get. And um, organic milk made tea for breastfeeding mamas. One. One tea bag. <laughs> and um, I got this little book for babies first. Stop! He's so annoying. He's always looking for attention. He's crazy. Um, <laughs> I got babies first. I don't know what's in this. Like haircuts. I guess that you can use by their brand, of course, and bath time, and all that good stuff. Um, and I got a nook pacifier. Never had enough of those. I'm sorry, I keep going away from the camera. Um, BPA free. So, that's good. And free and clear wipes by 7th generation. Um, there's like, there's, there are two wipes in there, so, and soothing ointment, and, and anise, I don't know how to say it, guys, whatever, you know what I'm talking about, and, oh, <laughs> a little sample of, um, bio oil, a little sample, and, um, there is a baby, Organics mineral based sunscreen. Yeah, I'll need that way down the line. I don't know when I'll be planning to go outside after birth. I don't know. Um, people say two weeks or something, but I don't know. I mean, I think maybe I'd want to go out earlier. It's not really, I don't know. We'll see when the time comes. And there's a discount here for Chico um, bottles. I didn't even know they made it like $5 five dollars off and I mean they, they uh, it's very I don't know what to say about this bag I just want my teeth in. and um, this is like a sample baby bottle and dish liquid soap I'm sorry keep going the other way it's just like you know it's like a reverse camera and it's that super soft body lotion and, uh, Boogie wipes. Samples of those. And um, Calendula shampoo and body wash. I hope that's enough. I know they're tiny, but. <laughs> and Belly All Day Moisture Body Lotion. And um, $2 off. It's Hortal. Um. I guess that's one of these little hat looking things. Repositioning B. And um, you get this is like a theater thing that you can go to. Um, this is more like an advertisement. I don't know if it's free. You get a blockbuster and you can bring your baby. That's pretty cool. Because nobody wants crying babies in the theater unless you're joining 
other moms there. And this is the Enfamil thing you can sign up for. We can give you that too. So you get the formula. About the ice pack, I really wanted that, but I, I've been hearing that you get that at the hospital, so don't count on that. Um, I just got formula in my thing. $10, I think this is, I don't even know what this is, guys. $10 off one dome. Google it. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's a humidifier or... It's, it gives you a white noise to help babies fall and stay asleep. Whatever. And um, here I got a coupon. Picture people. They have this in stores. You actually get a free um, portrait taken. Um, yeah, you get a free maternity portrait taken. In one size, which is pretty cool. Uh, I am definitely going to use this. Um... So that's that's all that came in the, the bag. Exciting thing about it is the formula um, and the pacifier. Not a lot really, a lot of little stuff. Oh wait, no, I forgot. Mustelli. It's a lotion. Yeah. So I'll be going back for another one of those things. I'll go back if I have to every day to get my teether. <laughs> I could just buy one, but whatever. Who doesn't love free stuff? Um, so that's about pretty much it for the new symptoms. Um, I've been on baby center and I've just been like worried about so many of these ladies have their babies so early and I'm just like freaking out. Like now it's crunch time and I'm just like really <laughs> worried about having my baby early. Um, I'm also washing every, I wash pretty much most of her clothes and I've I'm washing the blankets. I'm trying to wash them today because uh, we've been all around today. We went to the Palisades Mall. That was fun. Um, but yeah, I'm just trying to wash her blankets. I don't think her bottles I'll do until, you know, you can even do that when you come home or whatever. It's not something that I need to sterilize or feel like I'm going to use right away. Um, and yeah, I plan to go get maternity sh shoots done soon. I want to because you just never know. And I have to count down for my work. I have like maybe, I don't know, what is it? Two weeks left, maybe three weeks. And I can't wait. It's just been, uh, it's been crazy there. It's a madhouse. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much all I have to tell you guys. Um, I just have to go to my next doctor's appointment, which is next week. I had to reschedule. It was for this week and I had to reschedule because I wanted to finally get the ends of my hair clip, but whatever. I'll be going there next week. <laughs> um, everything is fine. And um, I'll let you guys know about, you know, what's going on. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye. I forgot to tell you guys. Like, I keep forgetting to mention this. And it's so, it's such a huge part of, you know, a change that has happened to me since I've been pregnant. Is my voice has completely changed. I've never heard of this, but I'm pretty sure it's a pregnancy and the hormones. I sound like a teenage boy. <laughs> That's just what it, it reminds me of. And I can tell, especially when I laugh, like it's so different. And I don't know, I don't know, I can only say the hormones because what else would it be? Um, you know, I can't even sing anymore. I, every time I sing, well this has been from before, when I sing I cry, but not only that, but it's like I can't even carry a note. Hopefully this is something that just goes away after the pregnancy because it's just crazy. Um, that's all I wanted to add, guys. Bye.